It's here. Oh my god. My new camera, new phone, new everything. iPhone 15 Pro, 128 gigabytes. It just released. I mean, they're shipping them today. Ooh. 48 megapixel camera, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, there's another one right here. 3,274 milliamp hours okay interesting box wow okay so titanium wow okay it feels actually it feels smaller i guess it's because it's without a case but i think it's actually it's in some way either longer or wider i think it's longer yeah wow so i have been using the 13 pro oh i think the screen is actually a little curved wow oh my i haven't even gotten a case for this yet so we have a braided usb-c to usb-c cable yeah, as you probably can tell it's a uh, usb-c yeah, 120 hertz screen. The screen is, wow. And the cameras too, iOS 17, don't forget that. Yeah, let's see, does it work? Of course it does. What do we have here? What do we have here? We have the SIM ejection tool, I'll need that. Uh, stickers and some manuals. Wow, okay. Hopefully there won't be any issues with this device. Why does it show? Okay, so I'll have to set this up and I'll be right back. Yeah, while it's updating, I'll do a little note, some thoughts. Uh, so yeah, I mean, USB-C, right? Uh, switching from lightning, that's a pretty big jump. Uh, I have my AirPods are lightning. My iPad is lightning. I mean, all... all of my accessories, everything is lightning. Uh, so it will be a little pain in the ass to change everything, to be entirely honest. Um, I mean, I won't be able to change everything, uh, but it is how it is. I mean, the e EU or European Union uh, said that they have to do this. So I guess that's something they had to do. There was, they couldn't choose to not to. Uh, they have an action button now. Um, that's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I will probably not be using it too much. I might put it as a shortcut to like one of my uh, sales platforms where I sell things because I get messages really often. Or no, probably not. Maybe like camera or something. Yeah, I'll, f I'll figure that out. Yeah, I mean, the edges are different. Like even the screen, I thought it was just gonna be the back like a little curve to the back, you know, but it's also the front. I think the screen is also a little curved. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, a little, a little, but it's it's not noticeable. Uh, fingerprints, fingerprints are not, uh, you can barely see them. I mean, after a while you might, or you will see them, but, uh, it's not like uh, the finish on like the iPhone 13 Pro I have. I don't even have a case for this phone right now and I'll have to go to the gym and training and everything. So uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it uh, survives. I'll put on a screen protector. Yeah, I mean, wow, it's cool, it's cool. Eight gigabytes, my 13 Pro had six and uh, with six, some people might say, oh, it's enough, everything, yeah. But uh, on my marketing app, when I was messaging a lot of customers, like some that uh, like said they wanted to buy something in the past and I'm like asking them, hey, so like, do you have any thoughts or anything like that? Then uh, the after like 20, 20 people contacted, the app just crashes uh, and that sucks. And also another thing is if I go into the music app and then I go just, you know, go up, swipe it away, just remove it from background apps, uh, then go into it again, then it just crashes and then you have to go into it for it to work. Not sure if that's a software issue, but I've been, I've been having that for like 
yeah, ever since I got the iPhone. I mean, it's not it's not a deal breaker, but the mark like uh, the sales channel app I, I have, uh, it's called Fin. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty bad to be entirely honest. It just crashes, and then I have to go all the way down. I have to try to remember which customer I was contacting. I don't I don't really contact people that often, but when I do, it's it's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, but I mean. In Norway, this phone uh, costs 1,400 and or 14,900 Norwegian kroners, I think. That would be about $1,400. So it's not $1,000 like the US, I wish, I wish. It's really expensive here and uh, I mean, I'm a little surprised because Norway isn't like India. They don't like, or I'm, I'm not even really known with India to be entirely honest, but I don't know if they have like uh, any authorized sellers or if they have to like import it at their own, because if they have to import it on their own, then it, I mean, it makes more sense. Uh, so there was a new update uh, today. Uh, so I'm updating to that right now. Uh, I actually already noticed some issues with iOS 17. I can't remember what the issue was. Was Oh yeah, right, when I uh, put on the wallpaper, like I had a wallpaper with a person, and then the top background, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but it was like blurred. I tried everything to like remove it because it, it looked horrible. It looked horrible. I wanted the background I chose, not like a blurred, half blurred one so hopefully that fixes it I'll, i guess i'll have to check but uh yeah i mean it's the first time i buy a new iphone in years the last new iphone i bought was an iphone uh, se yeah iphone se first generation 250 no no, that was 100 and, uh, 126 gigabytes. So yeah, same with this one. I could have bought more. I actually did think maybe I should buy more, you know? But uh, to be honest, it's enough. I have iCloud plus two. So, wait, the braided cable. Wow, okay, it feels, it feels different. I feel like it won't like, uh, like if you twist it around and all of that, you know, I, I feel like it's easier to like take apart, like here, you know, you can just, shoop. I mean, you can do that with other cable too, but it won't like get, uh, what is it called? Like tangled up, it feels like, because it's it's more like straight, if it makes sense. I, I feel like the quality, if I, if I can just put this in. Okay, interesting. I'm a little scared now, to be entirely honest. Like it's USB-C. It's first time they're doing that, you know? Yeah, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so here in Norway, we have the SIM slot. Um, not sure if there is two slim SIM slots or if there's just one, but now we're switching to eSIM. So I guess it doesn't really matter. No, there is wait oh no there's uh, one but it's pretty thick is there like a i email email is it called email i e i m e i i used to fix these iphones before like earlier in my life yeah i mean let's just wait this out till it upgrades and then I guess we'll check out some features, yeah? I mean, from looking at this, like the edge edges, I've heard they are slimmer, they're probably slimmer, but to be entirely honest, I don't really feel it. I don't feel like it's slimmer. I'm not sure if it's just me. Yeah. I thought there was a defect in the screen for a second, but that was just some dust. Let me also put on a screen protector while it's updating, because obviously it's really slow. Not sure why, but... Uh... Alright, so just a quick note. The iPhone 14 screen protector fits perfectly. Or the uh, 14 Pro, 14 Pro. It fits exactly like on where the screen is. It's actually amazing. 
Uh, hopefully it doesn't interfere with the edges. So let me just put that on. Alrighty, so the edges. I was totally right about the edges. Um, yeah, I mean, they're a little curved. So if I were to right now press in the screen, you can see it like lifts up a little like the screen protector. Uh, so I guess you can't use the iPhone 14 Pro screen protector on the 15 Pro. Um, I mean, I'll still use it like this. I mean, it's just the edges, you know, it doesn't, it's like, okay, some places it might go a little over the like screen, but I don't really care. Uh, as long as it protects my phone until I get the one that actually fits well. Yeah, I mean, because I put it on perfectly. I, I was about to say like, oh, this is the best screen protector I've ever applied. And it is, but as you can see, and yeah, I mean, the corners are for proof. You can see that there's bu like uh, bubbles over the corners on all sides, not just one side. If it was on one side, that would mean that I would just have to like put it a little to the side, like it was a little misaligned. But as you can see, it's not misaligned. It just does not fit because the corners are uh, a little curved. So, I mean, keep that in mind. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, uh, screen protectors for the 15 Pro can actually be an issue because, I mean, the corners are bent. Uh, so I guess I'll have to figure something out because that's, that's pretty bad. Hopefully the screen protector makers know this issue or thing. Uh, yeah, and we'll see. Um, I won't be doing a teardown of this phone, of course. I'm not uh, rich, or I mean, I, I'm holding this phone, but I'm not that rich. Uh, but uh, it actually opens from the front. You need to open it from the front, not like the 14 normal, uh, where you would open it from the back. But you can actually, actually replace the back glass on this extremely easily, because, I mean, you just lift it up like the screen. You just heat it a little up, there is a little glue but not some of the some of the old glue that would crack the entire screen and that's how you would have to replace it it's easy like you just warm it a little warm it a little up just put a pry tool under pry pry tool under here and uh, pry it up yeah pretty easy so now finally now let's wait for this to finish Alrighty, so here we go. I have now transferred everything. So we have the action button. Let's customize that. Okay, this does not feel like Apple. This feels a little a little more like a, you know what? It feels a little like a, your uh, like an Apple Watch or something like that. Like configuring something on Apple Watch. It's a little like more like this, like the Apple Watch Ultra or something like that, uh, or a watch in general. Okay, so silent mode, focus. Oh, you know what? Sleep, should I have it on sleep? Torch, you know what? Let's have it on torch. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So all of my apps are installing, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so let's compare some photos. So we have the 15 Pro uh, on the left and then we have the 13 Pro on the right. It's gonna be like this for all the photos. Uh, you can see there's a little more zoom on the 15 Pro even though it's uh, 15X on all the photos that I'll be showing here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can tell that there's more detail uh, on the 15 Pro. There is There is more processing in general on the 13 Pro. It just looks more, more blurry and uh, you can't really see the fabric it, it looks a little more like a painting than a photo but uh, yeah I mean it is how it is and we have the 15 Pro yeah again on the left and the 13 Pro on the right and I mean you can probably tell that it looks a lot better on the 13 Pro you can I mean on the 15 Pro uh, there is there is dots on the 15 Pro you can probably see some dots uh, while the 30 Pro picture is more blurred, it's it's hard to tell what's really going on. Like there is a bag on the right, you can see on both photos, and on 30 Pro it looks like a look a, like a burned like milk carton or something like that. But on the 15 Pro you can actually see that it's more like a plastic bag or something like that. 
there's just more detail. You can also look at the desk under the bottle there. You can see that it, it, it actually has detail on the 15 Pro, while on the 13 Pro it just looks like a blurry mess. And same with the on the bottle, you can see some text. You can almost see what it says on the bottle on the 15 Pro. If it, if it would have been turned a little more, you, you could actually read it, but on the 13 Pro you wouldn't be able to read it. It would just be a blurry mess. Yeah, I mean this is like a huge difference huge difference and if we look here there is less difference but on the dirt as i just said on the right we have the 13 pro on the left we have the 15 pro you can see that there's just more blur like on the water drops in the background but there's not that big of a difference here uh to be honest i could not see the difference i mean there is small small differences like the text on the box but uh, honestly, it looks almost exactly the same. It, it could have looked the same in both pictures. Here I didn't have a 15x zoom. I think I just... Not sure how much I zoomed, but uh, yeah, I mean, there is almost no difference. Here we have... Uh, yeah, I mean, here you can see a di big difference. 15x zoom. Uh, it's a lot more blurry on the 13 Pro and less processing and blurring on the 15 Pro. Uh, yeah. And then we have the last one. This, this is also, you can see a lot of difference. On the 15 Pro, it looks a lot better than on the 13 Pro. It looks like on the 15 Pro, that's how it looks in real life. On the 13 Pro, it just it's just blurry uh, I mean in the text in the background you can see toilet paper on the text there it you can't even read it it looks like black lines well on the 15 pro you're actually able to or yeah I mean you can't really read that but uh, you can tell that it's actually text yeah and you can also see on the screen like it looks better on the 15 pro and that's actually what it's supposed to look like uh, yeah, it's more natural while on the uh, 13 Pro it looks more blurry. It looks Brighter. Yeah, I mean, it's just not natural uh, Yeah Yeah, I mean I got it set up all the passwords all the everything it has a dark mode uh, Hopefully I can change that because I uh, I don't think it's good that, it, that it's like this bright all the time uh, Yeah, the screen should be brighter but i'm not so sure about that yeah i mean the bezels are slimmer it's uh it's a cool phone but to change from iphone 13 pro i mean is it worth it uh to be honest if you have money fuck it i mean why not right but uh if you if you have somewhere else to like place your money don't buy this thing i mean it, you won't feel the performance. The cameras are a little better, as you saw. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess they're different. They're not better. They're just different. Or I mean, I I mean, I guess they're better too. But they're they're different. They look different. Uh, I mean, I'm not a camera geek, so I'm not able to test all the functions. And I'm guessing that or they will have more updates in the future. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait for the case and hopefully I don't drop this thing. But thank God it's easy to replace the back. That's a bonus. And I think uh, uh, like uh, repairing the hardware is cheaper, like with uh, with, with Apple. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, just ask me. Uh, most of the time, the internet has a question. I actually had a problem when I tried to set up face ID uh, when I like in the startup when you start it up it w wasn't able to like scan my face but then I just continued and uh, I pressed set up again and then it worked as it should so uh, yeah I mean that's the video uh, I'm not a iPhone review channel so I'll leave that to the to the pros thank you guys for watching like dislike subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one peace out